Creeper 3.0 here and you can now create better 3D AR models than ever before. In today's video, I will show you how to create detailed 3D AR models with much cleaner topology, highly accurate 4K textures and how to use the new Sketch to 3D feature. I will also show you how to create one-click T-Pose characters in Tripo that you can later rig and animate. Having said that, let's dive right into it. If you are new around here then hi, my name is Philip from Pixel Artistry and in today's video we are going to have a detailed look at Tripo 3.0 which launched in August. It comes with tons of improvements that will make your 3D AO workflow much smoother. By the way, if you would like to try Tripo 3.0 yourself, you will find my invitation link down below in the video description. And if you decide to upgrade at any point, you can use my code PIXELARTISTRY for 60% off your first month on the professional plan. So if we want to now actually generate 3D models with Tripo 3.0, we first need to navigate to their website, which is studio.tripo3d.ai. And once you are logged in, only thing you need to do to, uh, that we get actually started is clicking here then on generate 3D. And then you will see a new interface will open. And we are right now here in the generation tab. We want to now make sure that we're using Tripo 3.0. To do that, you just can check it up here. There's a version 3.0. As you can see, they are still in beta, but they will soon release it completely. And once we clicked on it, as you can already see, we are now in the generation tab in the 3D interface. And you might remember this from my last video that we have here plenty of other tabs as well, like overview, segmentation, retopology, and so on. Anyways, once we are here, we're having now two options to create 3D models with Tripo 3.0. And option one is actually that we are uploading our own image and then transforming it into 3D. And only thing we need to do to actually start uploading our own image is that we go here to image, text to 3D, click on this one, and then we can uh, directly see that we have here a drag and drop field, or you can click on it to upload your first image. The second option that we have is that we're actually using the text box down below where we can then just type in something and then we're having our text transformed into 3D. And we will start with option one for now to actually upload our own image. And to do that is that we simply clicking on here and then we can choose our image that I already prepared. And then once you selected the image, you see it's uploaded. As you can see, I prompted this image here in mid journey. As always, make sure that your image has a solid grayish or white background, is clearly visible and is standing best case in A or a T pose. So we can first um, type in here something like remove weapon. And once we have done that, we just need to make sure that we're choosing here nano banana. Uh, which is really cool actually, Tripo is covering this here. And as you can see, um, this is one of the best images that you can have at the moment to actually edit our image without like changing the look or something. So as you can see, I just typed in here, remove weapon, and then we can actually already click on edit image. And then as you can see, it did that perfectly. We don't have a weapon anymore and we still have the same look as before, as we can see here. Next step is now to bring them in a T-pose. And this is also really easy. Only thing we really need to do is then to remove here the remove weapon text, then choosing here T-pose and choosing here again, nano banana, and then clicking on edit image again. And now, as you can see, we added our T-Pose in just one click without typing anything, which is super cool, I think. Um, to bring in a bit more in the front pose, we could also do that. So I would just uh, quickly write something like front view. And now, as you can see, we have our character in a perfect T-Pose and we are now ready to generate our 3D model. So actually to do that is that we will choose first the standard mode. As you can see, the ultra mode is not available yet, but I heard that Tripo will launch ultra this month with a significant boost in model fidelity and detail. So stay tuned for that. Next, we can then choose our privacy model. So if you want to have your 3D model shared publicly or not, we can choose here if we want to have smart, low poly on and off. And we will choose here, of course, the HD texture. Also make sure that you have here on the one click, otherwise it will only generate the model and then the texture afterwards. I will then choose the triangle mode for this example, and we will choose a reduced poly count of 150,000 faces. 
but you could also leave it by default to auto, which will then generate the model for you, which will not be limited by the poly count itself. And then once you have that, only thing we need to do to generate our model is clicking here the generate button. All right, amazing. And as you can see, this is now our generated model and it has a lot of detail and matches really well our base image. I think especially in the texturing, it's really impressive. And uh, yeah, I like the overall shape. As you can see, we can also switch here to the solid mode. And yeah, and this is the shape detail that we get from our 3D model by default. And uh, I think this is pretty cool. As you can see, of course, right now it's triangulated, but we will retopologize this model later on in the video. So make sure to stick around. And if you would like to export your model directly from this, for example, to take it into Blender or something, you could quickly do this just by clicking here on export, give it a file name, choose your desired format here, and then clicking on export. Next, we then also have the newly introduced feature called Sketch to Render, which is really easy to use. We can, for example, upload this sketch here, which I drew myself. I know it's not the greatest drawing, but I was really curious to try it out with my own sketch here. Once I was then uh, done with the drawing, I just took my smartphone, took a picture, and now we can then directly upload it to the sketch to render section. To do that, we will just simply click here, upload again, then choosing our image, which is this one here in this case. And then only thing we really need to do is that we're clicking here on sketch to render, and that we switching here from nano banana to GPT 4.0, and then we're clicking here directly on edit image and it will then actually transform our sketch to an image that we can then use to generate our 3D model with. And then once it's finished, as you can see, we get in this really amazing dragon um, kind of as a 3D model already, which I think is really impressive. And what we then, only thing we need to do then is because we now have our base image that we again go here with the same settings as before maybe, but you can already choose your own settings here and whatever works for you. And then only thing we need to do is um, then again hitting generate on the bottom to generate our 3D model. And then as you can see, once the generation is done, we're getting then this really nice uh, 3D model of a dragon so that you can then actually turn your sketches that you made yourself into 3D models. To also show you quickly option two, which is also really powerful since we can now also generate our images that we want to use for 3D generation directly already inside Tripo. So to do that, we can directly uh, click here on the image text to 3D again, and then we can type in a prompt here to get our first image preview. And to do that is, I prepared this already, it's a highly detailed majestic battle one helmet with uh, uh, details like the metallic scales, it has dragon inspired engravings and so on. So everything we need for a nice helmet. And in this case, you can also choose it again, of course, as always, um, what AI model you would like to use to generate the image. In this case, I'm using Nano Banana again because it did a really well job, especially with this one. And only thing we need to do then is actually that we're clicking here again on generate image preview. And most of the times I can highly recommend either using Flux or GPT-40 uh, to generate your image. But in this case, Nano Banana did a really outstanding job. And as you can see, we have then here our image and I think it did a pretty well job. We have a, a, a lot of detail and we can then again um, generate it over here if we want. And this is then our free model that we get from it, as you can see. A great thing about Triple 3.0 is that they worked hard on improving the topology of your 3D mesh. You can see right now that our mesh is still triangulated. And once we clicked on retopology, we can now change our topology by clicking here on the left to quartz as it's already uh, here. And we can leave the poly count at auto because it didn't will choose automatically the best resolution for our 3D mesh. And once we have that, only thing we need to do is click here then on retopology and it will then automatically retopologize our whole model. And once done, you can actually see that it keeps our existing texture and that it retopologized our whole mesh. And as you can see, it follows the edge loops quite well now, and it does that already way better than most other 3D model generators. 
And as you can see, it follows the edge loops around our arms, for example, and also on the legs way better than most of other automatic retopology tools that are out there at the moment, which I think is really impressive and cool because we then have a way better topology than before while keeping all the details that we have. I tested here also different 3D AI tools in terms of topology and in comparison, Tripo actually creates more details with fewer polygons. So it's definitely worth to check that out. In general, you can see that Tripo 3.0 has way more details in its model and texture than its previous versions. Tripo AI is by the way sponsoring today's video. So big shout out and thanks to Tripo for supporting this channel and giving me the chance to showcase their newest version of their 3D AI generator. Another really great feature of Tripo 3.0 is that we can also now upload our own 3D model if we modeled it ourselves or if we downloaded it from the Sketchfab for use, for example. So how we can do that is actually that we're clicking here on the upload 3D model, which is still in beta actually, but it's working pretty well already. So we can click on this, then we can choose our model. In this case, I would choose my frog, which is a GAB file, but you can also choose it in FBX or OBJ format and then make sure that you have it facing on the front as you can see here also on the left in this example then we can choose here if we would like to use the original uv or not uh, i would choose this here otherwise Trooper will also give your model new uvs if you don't have them already then you can click here on confirm and then once uh, imported as you can see we have our frog model then here in clay mode and we could go now here to the texture tab then we can upload our image which already I already did how I would like to have the texture then we can make sure that we have here HD texture selected uh, texture alignment to either structure aligned or image aligned so if it should follow the image closely or should take in a case how the structure is as well and then we can also say if we would like to have a texture C to control um, kind of the influence of it I can enable that and then we can click here directly on generate texture again In Triple 3.0, we also having now a much better brush tool and projection feature so that we can now easily fix face details and texture issues. To do that, simply choose your character here from the right under your assets tab, click on it, and then make sure that we go to the texture segment over here. Once we are here, we can then choose the magic brush that we have over here. And as you can see, it will already give us a prompt on the left that we can use. And to do that is we can now generate a preview and just go really close. For example, if we would like to repaint his um, armor here or the face itself, so we can choose something like this perspective here, then generate preview. And then once it's generated, we can see the preview over here, which has greater detail than what we have um, at the moment in our texture. And then also Tripo will automatically lock our camera so we can't mess up the view that we have right now generated from this one. And then we can just slowly starting um, to paint kind of on top of our existing texture. And this will give us then a lot of control to actually yeah, repaint those uh, faces details that we would like to have. We could, for example, also unlock the camera by clicking on here. Then we could choose another angle, maybe something like this here. And then we could uh, generate again. And then we will have here a new perspective angle where we can also draw on it again. We can switch, by the way, between all angles that we created so far. So you can then uh, really consistently paint on the model wherever you need it, kind of. And once you are done with the details that you would like to have uh, painted on your model what you can do then once you're happy and done is uh, clicking here on save texture and Tripo will then apply the new texture onto your 3D model. All right, so as a last and final step, what I wanted to show you is how you can actually rig and animate your character and how we can then actually also export a skeleton to Blender with our 3D model, of course, attached. So what we need to do is once you have a character, I chose now this Alien character, which I also created in Tripo. And what I want to do is then actually going here to rigging on the rigging tab. And only thing we need to do then is actually that we go here to auto rig. All right, and once the process finished, we can view our skeleton by actually enable it here. And as you can see, we then have here our bones and attached to our 3D model. And to actually now export our model, 
with our skeleton rig is actually that we go here on the bottom, then we go and choose our file name over here, something like alien or something. And then you could choose here export, click on it, and then you got exported and you can then import it into Blender, for example. You can then, of course, animate it, like attaching all the controls and everything in Blender, but that's a video for another time. Of course, what you could also do, which is also um, even easier, is that we directly uh, animate our character here. So for example, if we would have uh, to let him walk, we can do this by simply kicking on it. And then Treepo is actually animating our character already. And we can then export our animation like this. So I really hope you have enjoyed this video. As always, please comment down below in case you have any questions or if you have already tried Treepo 3.0 yourself. Also make sure as always to subscribe to the channel and to join our free Discord, which I will link you down below, as well as our newsletter, Future Frames. Having said that, see you on the next one.